Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Oh, thank you all for, for being here. I'm glad we found a time that at least worked for a reasonable handful of people. And um, as you noticed, I'm going to record this so that people who couldn't make it um, might be able to gain wisdom from it. Uh-oh. And someone who's trying to get on is calling me. Uh, so I will pause and feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Hello, Harry. Hello, Kathy. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, you've got good renaming going, Harry. Let's see. I have to remember how to do that. It's there somewhere. Rename. What's that? Rename to rename oh. myself. I think it's under more. I don't know how I even. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'll have to ask Michelle. I don't know how I did it. I forgot. Mm. Did you do it for permanently then? Oh, I thought it had to be done every time. It was time. a year ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. That's what I, I need. Yeah, that's a good question because then I don't have to be. Yeah. Hello, Kathy. Where are you? I'm in Eastern Tennessee. All right. And I'm in Portland, Oregon. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> well, Is it windy up there in Portland. Um, we're getting intermittent rain, but that's kind of normal. Yeah, I don't know when we're watching for when we get a big whether the big storm is gonna hamper my husband driving north to Seattle on Thursday. So far, it looks like no. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, and Harry, I, I heard you were talking about the wind and we're getting that down here too. I'm, I'm uh, in the Santa Cruz mountains, um, kind of between oh God, Santa yeah. Cruz and San Jose <laughs> and it, I, and I'm, you know, in the trees and they are swinging around. So I might lose power at any point during this. Um, if I do, I will try to get on the phone and join and hopefully things will work, but who knows? <laughs> Well, thank you. We have a pre-question, Michelle, because I noticed Harry Keeley was right on it and had renamed himself, but he said, no, he did it a year ago and didn't remember how he did it. And I thought- Oh, within Zoom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, within Zoom, um, if you are able to, if you're on a computer, it, it works differently if you're on a phone and I can't remember how to do it on a phone. Are you on a computer? I'm on an iPad. All right, I should do it on the computer then. Yeah, I don't know when if you can, can if you can see if you've got three dots near your picture that you can mouse over, then one of your options will be rename. But I don't know if that's true on an iPad. Uh all right, I'll do it on I'll do, mess with that on the computer when I can. Okay. Right. Thanks. <laughs> So welcome. Uh, thank you. Hi, Jay. Good to see you again. Um, this is a much less structured interaction than the last one was for those who were on my on the uh, Education Commons session uh, earlier. Um, hopefully, Nancy will be joining us in a minute. Um, no, she's not able to find her way back into Deep Transformation Network. Oh. Ah. <laughs> um, I can't help her out there. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, let, let me try one more thing. Um, well, Michelle's busy. Can I ask the rest of you, do you have particular questions or are you just looking for some general Michelle guidance? I have particular questions about the book club. Oh, that's right. I remember that from before. Kathy and Jay? Uh, I'm, I'm just new to this whole thing and just uh, thought I'd jump on and get some information about it. Sounds, sounds good. I'm having a heck of a time navigating and I want to know what I'm doing wrong. Although some of it, I think it's just um, things are, yeah. <laughs> 
So I just, All right. I was on the call where um, somebody was showing how to use it and it went by so fast. I was just like, I just, I just, I'm brand new. So I'm still trying to figure out how it all works. And mine is, um, hi kids. Mine is, um, is a little bit of that navigation, but coming from mine is a little more specific to organization of, no, I don't want to say I've read everything because I haven't, but how is, how does one um, try to wrap the mind around mm -hmm. where you're at when I don't know about other people, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. Oh, I have DTN 30 minutes, five minutes, three hours today, and then I'm busy for five days. And then like, well, huh, where, what, 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 where am I? Yeah. So these are really useful questions. Uh, welcome, Remedios. Welcome, uh, was Anne? Yes. Uh, so good to, good to have you on here. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, so the plan for today is mostly to just try and answer as many questions as we can. Um, I can, I'm happy to stay on for 90 minutes or even longer if we need it. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll try to cover some of the more urgent things first, or at least some of them, the easier to resolve things first. Um, so uh, Lisa, go ahead. Okay, sorry, uh, this just popped into the brain. Oh, how do I tag somebody? I saw someone tagging Jeremy Land and it's like, oh, I've had things I need to tag a friend of mine on here. It's like, oh, how do I do that? Yeah, okay. Um, so we can get into, into that a little bit. Um, sorry, was there another comment coming in? Okay. Um, so I think what I'll do is, uh, and I see my lights flickering. This could go really badly. Hey, Nancy found her way in. Yes. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Um, so fingers crossed that I don't lose power because my lights are flickering and that happens here when it's windy because we have overhead lines and lots of trees. So let's see what happens. Um, Michelle, where are you out of curiosity? Oh, I'm I'm in the Santa Cruz Mountains, so coastal California, kind of central coast. So uh, I was a little bit late, so I was signing up to try another thing I thought would be good for me. Uh, you know, some meetings coming up in uh, March for connection. I can't remember what the I can't remember what it was called anyway. Um, and now I'm here. Um, was there a particular question or something that we were supposed to be uh, kind of responding to or no? No, you're good, Remedio. Seems Michelle is frozen for the moment. But, um, <laughs> she was frozen. <laughs> she, was just, she was just going to take questions and try to cover as much as she could. That's all not a, there was no assignment for you. Great. Well, I'm glad she put this, <clears throat> thing together because you know it gets kind of it gets lonely being out there trying to figure out what to do and every day is bombardment with another set of news or situations happening that are disheartening and yet every day there's a few little positive things that says oh have hope you know keep going forward and but you know I get really worn down and um that's why I signed up for this other thing. It's supposed to be helpful for that, but this is as well. I mean, and how to connect more with this community is something I'm really starting to look into and coming up with some ideas about now, like you said, uh, how do I tag somebody? How do I communicate? Cause I've thought about some people I'd like to say, well, gee, can we talk about this? How do I post something about what I'm doing to share with the network and having the time and the space to, get that figured out and see that done just like Lise was saying in between all these other things I'm trying to do that I'm you know it's hard to concentrate and all of a sudden you know it's a week later and you know 
whatever. So I had posted only a few. How many of you are pretty new to DTN and Mighty Networks? You're pretty new? Two of you? Two and a half? Three? Yeah. Okay. I knew about it when it started last February, but I was busy with stuff in life until like August or so. And that's when I had time to kind of connect in. So I was in Mighty Networks when it, before it had the system upgrade a few months ago. And so I've posted more than zero, but less than 10 things to like general articles or interest you know, on the broadcasting post to everyone. But last time I was getting stuck. And so I had to message and then I ended up messaging Jeremy, hey, how do I just post? And he took me through it and he said, oh, you have to, it's not as simple as it was. You have to go here and then you go. I mean, it wasn't hard if you know how. So it was just um, a couple of instructions. And so I'm saying, I hear what you're saying, Remedios. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I can always then just, you know, write, take the time and energy to focus and write to Jeremy and ask for some more coaching if I need help. You know, it's just a matter of trying to do time management and brain management so I can manage to remember to manage all these things. It's like, man. Right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there could be a tech section, like tech, maybe that could, hey, for the suggestion box, I haven't used the suggestion box yet. <laughs> there you go. Suggestion box, general tech questions that might be of interest to more people than one. Um, yeah. That would be perhaps helpful because I tried to answer it myself. I tried looking up Mighty Networks online, you know, help. I tried to, I'm not, I wasn't finding it. And then it wasn't difficult. Well, looks like Michelle, um, yeah. We have the same thing here in Portland, Oregon, where, uh, you know, you could lose power, but when it's windy like that, um, it could be, yeah. Well, we'll save that for um, in a few days when we have freezing weather, snow, sleet, and wind again. You know, at least that's coming up. So we'll have our day soon. In the meantime, look, she created this space, and here we are. There's seven of us here. Ooh, ooh, Does anyone more, have any more questions more that maybe more than, right. one of the rest of us could answer? What's Maury Dan up to? I don't know. What's your first name? Hi, my name is Anne. I'm sorry, my first okay. name's not on there. My husband and I share the account. Just to say, I'm going to step out. It's really late here in Paris, and I guess Michelle oh. is not going to not going to be here yet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Paris. <laughs> anyway, but I hope that um, this will get recorded. I think it's getting recorded. And your question already about like how do you tag someone? It's like yes, exactly. These are the kind of questions I have. So, so Anne, we'll just Anne, be before you leave. Anne, do you teach? In Paris, Anne and I were just on educators. I do, yeah. And so was Jay. And and yeah, you teach in Paris. What yeah. are you What are you teaching there? I teach movement based things, so that oh. can include yeah, so that can include stuff like yoga is the simplest. Oh. It can be movement, somatic, dance type things, and it can be oh. things that blend uh, and explore between the sciences and and movement stuff so wow so the thing there. i mentioned on the previous call about that person doing somatic stuff that's that's a link and i'm an orf schulwerk teacher a what Does orf schulwerk it's music education oh. i'm not teaching right now but it's music how many have ever heard of orf schulwerk nobody okay well it's <laughs> it's movement it's music but it's with movement it someone's book is placing Art. dance nice, Art. nice. Art. it's 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 like whole human yeah. there she is Hi. 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 i want to show my first based on what just seconds. happened while you weren't here my very first question is is there a way when we've been in conversation with people that we can get their email later. I think she just disappeared again. Oh no, she didn't. Not just that. Someone else. Is there a ready way if we want to connect, like after the education session with other people? Are our emails already set up somewhere to reach out, or do we have to ch exchange them as we normally would in a chat or something? So either 
exchange them as you normally would in a chat if you really just want to go straight by email or I can show you how to find them and direct message them within the within the DTN. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, yeah. can you, Especially can you for start? people that you've encountered before and failed to get their email, that, that can be really useful and important. Not everybody will check it, but most people will. Thank you, um, Anne. Okay, so I am I'm fingers crossed. I still have power, but it it knocked out my Wi-Fi. So I'm with the mobile hotspot and this all might work or it might not. I have made a few of you um, co-hosts of the meeting just so that you can uh, admit other people as they come in. I don't know how helpful that's going to be. If you all have questions, maybe you can help each other find the answers, but we'll see. Um, here, I'll just uh, make a lot of you co-hosts of the meeting and then uh, hopefully that will <laughs> cover cover most of the uh, potential <clears throat> chaos. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's apparently going to be one of those days. Okay. Oh, so what I would like to do, I suppose, is I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Uh, so that you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, we'll talk about the how to how to find people and direct message them. I want to make sure I show you a little bit about how to start conversations. But Lisa, you had that question about what do I do when I've been off for a long time and there's just so much stuff. I don't have a good answer for that. <laughs> um, I can tell you that right now. I have that, you know, I stay away for two days and it's it's just like, what, where is everything? Um, my, my take on it is it is a, a wide but swift flowing river and you just hop in wherever it is and, and run with it while you can. And when you hop back out again, whatever's coming past the next time is going to be something very different. Um, that's that's kind of the nature of this type of tool. What are the risks of drowning? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the good news is it's slightly less than most other social media because it doesn't have insidious algorithms trying to make you drown. Um, bad news is if you're a person who tends to like want all the information right now, like I am and Nancy, I'm pretty sure you are, uh, it's it's high risk. Um, right. Be sure to have your life vest on, bring a paddle and, you know, be careful about rapids. Michelle, can you hear me? Oh, yes. Oh, great. Um, I, uh, it's Taya here. I, I just hop, I just hopped in. I had trouble getting in. Um, I have just realized that the site does something that also the Gaia Education site did, which really was confounding. And um, that is that um, I've now seen how if I reply to something that was a long time ago, but I reply now, that then gets put up to the top of the list. And that's why nothing stays in the same right. place. Now, at first it was, I just, I knew I wasn't going insane, but it absolutely felt like it. But this tendency of it to, you know, if I'm crawling back through something interesting that was a while back and I reply, suddenly it displaces all sorts of other things. And so they aren't where they were. And so then finding anything again, um, yes, Lisa, I am. So, um, uh, hi. <laughs> so, um, sorry, that's just confusing me. Um, so, yes, I, I, I imagine in the same way that it wasn't possible on Jeremy's course to do anything about that, but it means it's not just a fast moving river, but the bits of the river that already went by are suddenly hooked back and are coming at us again. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the river isn't actually a river. It's that, more like heli helicopters that land and then take off and then land in front of you when they were behind <laughs> you before. Um, but it, it makes it absolutely confounding that because, you know, I might know that I've replied to an old post and then, I mean, I can see one advantage and that is that it resuscitates things that have just sort of gone quiet or dormant and then there may be a whole 
load of wonderful things that happen as a result of that. But but it it's just like I just want a, a I want a button that I can press that says freeze everything, please. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that is that i guess there's no solution to that but it's it does do my head in yeah there's there's no there's no really good solution but actually uh lisa's question in the in the chat is one of the ways that you can um keep track of the things that that feel the most important to you so i will um walk us through that maybe as one of the first things here so I'm going to go ahead and share and, screen now, um, and, and which means it'll that, be a little can bit. I, can I Sorry? just say, can I just share the only strategy that I'm able to use at the moment is that I look at all the posts that I've, you know, I've set it up to be notified when people respond to what I say, for example, or things that interest me. And then I just have to go there and click on what people's replies are over and over again. It's about a three or four step process every time. But uh, if you can tell us any easier ways, I'll be glad. I'm not sure that they're easier, but I can I can show you a few other tools that might help you f find where you are for a while, for a while. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll we'll play with that. Um, we are, you know. Again, I'm I'm not coming into this as an expert in Mighty Networks. I just used it for a couple of months and went, okay, I think I have enough of the basics. I can figure this out. Um, so, you know, so I can I can walk you through what I can walk you through. And then um, beyond that, you're going to ha actually have to go to Mighty Networks and look for their help stuff. And so one of the things that I should clarify, and I'm going to go ahead and, and share screen while I'm talking through this. So Deep Transformation Network is the community that we're in, but we're using a tool called Mighty Networks. And Mighty Networks offers this tool. Jeremy used it for uh, his course. I think a lot of the courses on uh, Gaia Education use it. Um, another organization that I'm a participant in called the Resilience Activist uses Mighty Networks. And their space that they've created and how they run it works a lot differently, but a lot of the background tools are the same. So Mighty Networks, you can think of it as um, it's like everybody has their own enclosed Facebook world. And again, the big advantage is um, it's not algorithms trying to keep you on the site. So if you find yourself falling down rabbit holes, that's all on you. <laughs> but uh, what it what it is doing and what you're noticing with that, you know, older things coming back up to the top is since it doesn't use algorithms that are trying to to stimulate you and putting forward the things that are um, most likely to get you to stay on and watch ads. Instead, what it's doing is it's trying to use a combination of recency. So yeah, something that was just commented on will float to the top and um, frequency or level of interest, how many comments on the thing, those are gonna show up a little bit higher in your feed, your list of what's going on. So for most of you, probably when you start, when you go into deeptransformation.network, um, what you're seeing is this feed. And it will have some featured posts. So those are things that Jeremy has said, this is really important. I want to make sure everybody on the network knows that this is available. Not that you're obliged to read it, but it's there. Um, but then what else you see varies from person to person, and it's going to be kind of most recently active on top. It could be a post from six months ago that someone just commented on. So part of how you um, hold on to things is by saving them. 
And so to do that, if it's a post that you see that you think is really interesting, you can go to these three dots over here and click Save Article. But then the important thing to know is where did it save it? And that's unfortunately fairly complicated to, to get through. So let me walk you through that. So you're going to find you might just have a letter here, or I think it, it puts sort of default artwork for each person. So everybody looks a little different. Or if you've put a picture on your profile, it's your profile picture. Um, it's always going to be in this upper right on computers and and again I, i'm unfortunately i'm just i am not a person who uses mobile devices that much um i can't help you very much if if you're um if you're doing this on your mobile um hopefully most of it will translate but i don't know exactly where to find things so you're going to your profile and then at the bottom of the list is your saved posts Yay. This is wonderful if it's just one or two things that you've saved. Um, if it's, you know, when you get to the point that you've saved dozens and dozens of things, then you're going to have to scroll through and find which one. The usefulness of this is that no matter whether the conversation has been active or not, you can always find that again and go back to it. But the other tool that you always have right across the top is searching the transcription network. Well, I shouldn't say always have. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. If you're in the feed or other places, it will search all of Deep Transformation Network. So you can just type in a couple of keywords. It's like, I know there was something about, uh, what were we talking about today? Fresk. What was that? Fresk thing. I type that into the search bar at the top, and here are all the places where the word fresk has been used all across the transformation network. Can I just ask you a question? Sure. I'm I'm not quite sure. Sort of. Are you in the bit that says uh, or topics? So, sure yeah, so that's starting that. with, I, I tend to start with being in feed all topics. Yeah, is that, and is that where you are now? Um, because that'll have the featured, the featured posts at the top. If you go into all topics, it's only going to search for things that were actually posted in all topics, which will not include things in other groups or other so spaces. You were showing us all that stuff. You were in feed all topics. Is that I right? was in this feed all topics, uh, and then that gives you the whole of the network, everything that's on here. And uh -huh. you can just do keyword searches. So even if it's something you haven't encountered before, but you know you really want to find out more about, and this is probably going to return lots of results, but let's just type in education. We find that there are two spaces. Um, there's a education theme that has 22 members. There was a meeting earlier today, and now we're starting to find lots of different um, events and posts and all kinds of things that include the word education. And I could probably keep going on there for an hour and not find them all. Um, you can always clear out your search there and it'll just pop you back into whatever, wherever you were. Now, if you know what you wanted to find was something that was in say the artists and creatives space and go you can go into that space first and then your search will just be within artists and creatives who's talked about education and could you put the name and I'm a, if you know that there's a particular person whose post you want to see could you put their name in up there absolutely okay Okay, so let's go with um,
So now I'm seeing two posts where Kathy was mentioned and I'm seeing her profile. Um, if I just type in Michelle, I'll see my two profiles because I have this alter ego so I can show you what you guys see generally not being hosts and moderators. Um, and every other Michelle who's a participant. Now, notice this bar underneath the search. What if I just want to see posts that are by or about someone named Michelle? Now I'm just looking at posts, right? What if I want to see just events? I take posts off, I put events on, and now you just see events that were created by a Michelle. Questions about using the search bar? Just confirming. Just confirming that mm -hmm. the, the logic of it is you're you're at whatever level of inclusion and you do a search in that and then you can step down to more and more your feed all topics then your then you go into michelle then under michelle you can go into events and so forth and you can step down and that's a narrower and narrower uh, set of topics or or items that right. you're searching Right. Yeah. Again, if yeah, if you want to make sure that the search includes everything, then coming up to this top part, feed all topics, is going to get you the most options. And remember, so these, the stuff under home here, these are discussion areas largely all topics which is where if you've got general stuff that you think everyone on deep transformation network is probably interested in um you can make posts in all topics um the welcome space is something that jeremy created just for for people coming in and again you've also got this little checklist on the side and that can help you um get to know the deep transformation network community a little bit better and then announcements is a specific space that was created for sharing events that are uh, well events and tools and other things that are definitely like outside of deep transformation network but of interest to folks who are in deep transformation network so that's what you're going to find in announcements. Um, and then we have the groups there, these general groups, which are kind of mostly centered around topics. Um, and you can find, you know, whichever of these is of interest to you. And I'll get into the, the book club and book groups in a minute, Harry. Um, We've called those now book conversations. And then uh, we just started this space called eco spirituality groups and have a few spaces in that. And some of you might have noticed that you were suddenly in the atheo paganism uh, group without asking to be. Uh, that's that's kind of my bad because I forgot to tell the host of that to not check a certain box that he checked and then it made everybody on the network a member of that group. I think there are a couple of other groups that are like that where you're like, I never signed up for this. How come I'm in this group? It's okay to leave. No one will take it personally if you're getting things that you're not interested in. So let's talk a little bit about getting things because this yeah, is another 
Sorry, and also what? How, how to leave. I did discover how to leave, but it took me a while. Right. Um, so here, I think if I, on, on a group that I'm joined, if I click there and click more, and then leave space. So again, it's these three dots are where you find your menus with the options. And if you're not seeing it right away, check the more. And then you can leave the space. So when you click feed all topics, it's going to prioritize or include things of any group that you're in but it's not going to show you things that were done within groups that you are not a member of. Um, does, that, does that make sense? Questions on that? So another place where you can, especially if you've been off the platform for a while, if you haven't been in Deep Transformation Networks for a few days, um, there's this little alert bell up here, notification bell, and a number of how many notifications you've received. If you click on that bell, um, you have the choice to allow desktop notifications where it will actually like make little noise at you, uh, even if you have the tab in the background or something, if you have Deep Transformation Network open, you'll get little desktop alerts uh, that ping at you. And these alerts, uh, then these notifications are going to tell you all of the new stuff that has come in, either as part of groups that you're in um, or uh, general posts that you might be interested in um oh, you can can I, can I say something sure yeah with that that's go ahead the, that's the one uh facility that i'm completely relying on at the moment so i use that one but what i found okay. is it's, it's it's alerting me but it's alerting me in accordance with the rules I set up in my own profile. So it's not mm. telling me all the activity of that's going on. It's telling right. me uh, quite correctly those conversations that I want or people or groups that I want them from. And mm -hmm. I think I set that up in, in my profile. Yeah, so I, I believe you have access to that also in this notification setting. So that's the little gear here. And then in that space, you can go in and decide whether or not you want to get email updates and how often. Uh, decide whether you want those to happen every time something new comes in or just a, a daily digest where it kind of every day sends you a summary of things and then here's where you get to determine which kinds of things you're going to get notices about oh, and someone had asked a question about I, these at mentions sorry sorry how do i get to that page i was looking at my account and i lost how I went to the free wait I went ah where did I go I went under my picture mm -hmm. and then under my picture wait and under notifications or under my pic okay under notifications notification right. settings so notification settings the little gear up here in the corner okay oh oh I see I just had to scroll down more sorry okay so yeah now and then as you scroll down, you can decide which kinds of things you want to be notified about. Got it. And which spaces you do or don't want to be notified about. And I think it's just listing spaces that you have signed up for one way or another yes not all the spaces but just the ones that you've signed up for 
um, or you got signed up for, you can choose to turn off notifications about that. That doesn't mean you're leaving the group. It just means that you're not getting a notice each time it happens, each time something happens inside that. But going back here, I also want to show you that if you know, okay, I'm not even going to look at any of the rest of these. If I click on something, um, it will take me directly to that posting. And then I'm going to close this and you'll see the number went down, right? I had 20 notifications, now I'm down to 24. But if I don't feel like looking at absolutely everything, if I just sort of skim and say, well, there's nothing here from anybody I really was feeling like hearing from today, I can just mark everything as red. And then all of that goes away. And the next time you come on, it will just show you the number of new notifications since you cleared it out. And do you have the option of saving any of those under your saved items as well? Yes. So if you um, go down here and click on one of those, then the three dots are right up here. And the top option is to save that article. Whenever you save something, it lets you check all of your saved posts. But again, the other way to get to that is by going to your profile. And then you'll have this listing of saved posts right there. <laughs> yeah, getting getting laid out there, Anne. Oh, she already left. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so you can follow a person. So let's say I come back here and... I just, I'm trying to find, who was that? Oh yeah, Nancy. I'm gonna follow Nancy. So now I'm gonna get an alert every time Nancy posts anything. Um, and again, that will show up when you, uh, you will get a notification then whenever Nancy posts something, and it will preferentially put things that Nancy has posted at the top of my list. What's that little green dot on my photo mean? Green dot on your oh, photo. It means you're online right now. Got it. That's what I thought it meant. Ah, Thank you. Yes. Um, um, Michelle, I have to say that um, I'm having trouble finding where your mouse is. So I can see the screens keep changing and clicking but I can't oh. enough pick up on where your mouse is to see what it is you click to do that. Okay, are, that are you sense. seeing my mouse rotating it around over on the left? Is, um, it just, I am now, yeah. It just takes me a while to find it because it's okay. very small. Okay, yeah, sorry, I don't, I, um, I don't think and that's a I thing that I can are, so fix yeah. very quickly. So um, I apologize for that. Yeah, it's just quite hard. And then it's like you've done it before I've seen what. OK, OK, I'll try to I'll try to slow down and hang out a little bit before I do that. Um, so let's see. So let's talk about uh, actually writing a post. And just to. Um, If you're in feed, and you know, I'm having to remember now. No, if you're in feed, you can respond easily to posts that are already there, just clicking in here and typing whatever. Um, so you're just adding a comment. You're, you're being part of that conversation. But if you want to post something new on a new topic or a topic that at least you aren't seeing that you want to talk about, you need to actually go into one of the spaces. You can't do it from the feed or discovery page, as far as I know. Again, if it's something that's general interest to everybody in Nova Sutra, Nova Sutra in Deep Transformation <laughs> Network, um, you probably want to post that in all topics. So if you go to all topics, see, I'm, I'm 
clicking, um, I'll go back, uh, clicking in the space over here under home, home might be closed and you can just tap that button to open it. And then you click all topics at the top. And that takes you into the all topics space. You might see it like this with a list, or you might change it to feed view where it will look just like it looked when you went on the feed page, so right? With a few featured posts. Where did you change that? So that's over here. It's kind of on the right hand side of the main column. It looks like a little bulleted list. Oh, I see. And that's where you change the view. And that's how you change the view. Uh, once you're in a space like this, from a list view to a feed view. Uh, wow. Now, the other thing to be aware of, so if you're going to just start something new, say you just found this great link that you want to share with everybody and talk about, you can just click on the share what's in your mind. You can paste in links. You can add, well, you can paste in a single link. And you can add a picture or say you've got like a Word document that you want to attach. You can attach that by choosing to add a photo or file. So big news. And then um, I, could, I could copy and paste the link or I could um, add, a, add a photo, add a file, right? Big news, I have a CV. Okay. But let's say I want to um, include multiple links and have a little bit of control over the formatting. Then instead of just typing a couple of quick things and then clicking post, which I'm not going to do here, um, instead I could choose to write an article. And this gives you a fair amount of formatting control and the, the option to put in a clear title. So, um, sorry, what did you click to get that up? Sorry, let me cancel and go back. Oh, okay. So if you're, you're going to start by clicking into the share what's on your mind space. Yeah. And then in the lower left oh. is this option, expand to article. Uh -huh. And then it's going to pop out this new kind of window. And here, you know, dogs are great. <laughs> dogs, dogs, dogs. And then I want to add a picture or I want to add a video. Um, you probably won't do embed code unless you know how to do HTML coding, so don't worry about that. You can do bulleted lists or numbered lists. Um, they have tails, they have ears, they're snugly. Um, I hit an extra return and I get this plus back. And again, I get to choose what kind of things I could put a divider line in if I'm going to a new section. And the default, you, if you don't hit the plus, then you just start typing in, it's a regular paragraph. Um, within these, I can paste links. So let's say I have, um, I really want to share the Pexels dog photo link. So I'm going to go there and copy that link. I've just, you know, changed tabs. Now I'm going back and I am just pasting that link in. Here's an important thing to know about the difference between the articles and the brief posts. With a brief post, people are going to see a preview of the one link that you're able to put in there. With an article, 
they're not going to see previews of any links, but you can put as many links in as you want. And in fact, I could say dog <laughs> pictures and then select that and then add that link. So rather than showing off that the whole URL there, now I've just got a clickable phrase, dog pictures. This lets me open that link to make sure I got the link right, edit the link, or take the link back off. So questions about how to do articles. Nope. So you can do those within, as far as I know, pretty much every space on Deep Transformation Network. Um, you should be able to uh, go into that space. And the first thing that you see at the top will be a place for you to just share what's on your mind. And again, here, I'm going to show you if I put in a link, it'll put something right there. Sorry, someone was asking another yeah, question. Uh, I had a question that uh, you said as the questions about articles. Um, if one puts a post as an article, can people still engage in conversation with it? Or yes. Is it just like more like a broadcast than a conversation? No. Everything on DTN is set up for conversations with a, a couple of exceptions. Um, and I can show you an example of one of those. But generally, when you're posting articles within spaces like this, that then is a target for conversation that other people will comment on it. Excellent. Thank you. That, yeah, good I question. I also ask you, Michelle, while you're mm -hmm. in there, in terms of retrieving material if you do a keyword search will it pull stuff out of all of the articles written or just um things that are captioned or tagged or how, how does that how do you find the stuff that's in there so the keyword search is really just looking for the word in every post or article or okay. event um, and it will show you everything that includes that word you can add hashtags, um, and we're. This is a new tool. We're just starting to explore. So, if you're not familiar with it, a hashtag, you just put the pound sign in first, and then add a specific word or phrase, and spell it correctly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ideally. Um, <laughs> Can you go back one more time and show me what mm -hmm. I I don't have my reading glasses on and I missed um, what you clicked on. So you you started with the chat, but how did you click on article? How did you make it an article? Okay, so yeah, what it shows you at first is just this space that's got like a plus sign and then share what's on your mind. Right. Plus sign is just you can go ahead and add a photo. You can create a poll, a GIF or GIF, depending on right, you know right. which side of that argument you're on. Um, but if you click into there, even before you start typing, you get this option at the bottom left, expand to article. Huh. And that's where you're going to have more control and be able to... Um, like add multiple links. It's essentially like you can create a kind of a blog post. You don't have tons of control over it, but you can have, you know, a couple of paragraphs of text and then a picture or a video link and words within your paragraph can be linked to other sources, as many links as you like. Um, and again, with either just the short post or the article, you can add hashtags if it's um, something that you think is is a repeating topic that people are going to look for. That so would you explain not, again, when you put the hashtag in front of a word, 
Mm-hmm. What's the difference between that and just having a keyword search? Um, right now, not much. There are options that might be might be used later, um, but again, they just activated this ability to put key or to put hashtags in and track them as something different from uh, the general keyword search. That ability only got added a couple of months ago. So right now, there's nothing in DTN set up to specifically highlight particular hashtags, but that is a potential that DTN has. Got so you know, building toward the future, um, we could choose like certain hashtags will end up with their own space or page or something. Got it. Um, I am not getting it to show up with the option of um, switching it to an article. So it all I huh. all I have is the photo and the GIF or the GIF GIF or whatever. Right. Um, is- let me let me back out. Okay. Photo options and the GIF options. Yeah. So don't don't click on the plus. Just put your cursor to the right of the plus in the share what's on your mind space. Uh huh. And that's when it should pop down and give you the option to expand to article. Now there may be a couple of spaces that are set up as chats rather than feeds, and and the difference between. Uh huh. It, uh, it's complicated, but essentially the difference between a chat and a feed is uh, if they've created it as a chat only space, then you can only do short posts. You can't do the full article thing. Uh, which which space are you in over here oh, on the I, left? Did you choose a, a problem? Because in, in Education Commons, I could only do a quick post or a chat. So now I'm in all topics and I click create on the side and I can pull down article. Right, okay. Yep, okay. that's what's going I, on. Thank you. Now that's what's, that's what, that was, that was, yes. Yes, so so the way that they built the education common space is just for chats, which are these quick posts. Quick posts or chat. Yeah. Awesome. So if you wanted to do an article inside the education commons, you would not be able to? You could only do chats? That, or I posts. believe, is true. Yeah. You can do... So they... Uh, apparently, yeah, this one is set up so that you can only do the short posts here. Um because I'm not getting that option either. And what's there the is a again, chat feature. Yeah. What's the difference again between chat and post? Or short post? How they're, how they're displayed a little bit. Um, so one of the complexities that, that happened when they put this new, you know, when Mighty Networks changed everything, nothing to do about it, is that um, the preference now is for more of this feed kind of setup, which gives you threaded conversations. So if you put a post in here, then still people can reply to that post. Um, Whereas in chat, it is non-threaded. So it's just by timing. And the for some reason in in this chats are um, the newest stuff is at the bottom. So you can see here that the chat feature was really important last summer and everybody was using it. And then they stopped using it and went to feed instead because this allows for threaded discussion so you can get rich conversation. So is there mostly I would say avoid chat spaces unless that seems to be where all the action is within a particular group. Is 
Sorry, Nancy, you had another question? Oh, I think I'm, I've got so many different questions in my mind, they're getting in the way of each other. Um, so, okay, I, wa I wanted to, um, if, if you could can make a couple of notes, I know there was something I was just about to show somebody who had asked about something yes, and ahead. now I've lost go it ahead. again. Um, so never mind. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, how to how to link to someone? Yes. Okay. Let's do that one. So that one's very simple. Within a, any of these posts that you're creating, or even within an article, I believe, and within a comment. So let's. Put it there because that's actually more often if you want to make sure that this shows up in someone's notices that they get the the little bell message uh, in their notifications about something you type the at symbol which is uh, shift two on a standard keyboard and then you can start typing their name um, And it will find, you know, the more letters I put in, it will find all of the names that have all of those letters in that order first. And then I could type any other message or I could just put in the comment with this other person's name, Harry, and it would notify you that this was something that I think you ought to have a look at. Does that make sense? Yes, thanks, Michelle. Yep. I'm thinking duh, but then right, respecting all of us who are learning, it's not a duh. Almost it's, a it's duh. not a duh. None of it is. So yeah, so oh, yeah. And you can be typing along, you can have a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, and then you're like, oh, and I should also say. Oh, thank you. Like that. Thanks, Michelle. I think that was my questions. Other than the big picture, how do you over organize your brain and this site? Ha ha. Yeah. Please help. Please it'll, help. it'll never be easy. Um, again, we've Every got this help. being recorded. We have the, the original tour through that I gave during the birthday bash is a separate, knocked out as a separate 20 minute recording that you can find in the welcome space now. So if you go uh, into yeah. welcome here, um, and here it is, the guided tour of the DTN. Michelle, really, I still um, left with the question, how do I find uh, conversations that I was already engaged with other than notifications, which is what I'm currently reliant on. Because if right. the so, whole things move depending on, uh, you know, people engaging, they don't stay in the same place. Yeah. Um, so again, the only other solutions are to do the search with the keywords or to save the article which is these okay. three dots usually in the upper right. Mm. And then you just, um, well, since I saved this, I can unsave it. Three dots when in the upper right. The article, when I save an article, that could include the entire conversation. And it will include all of the comments on that. Mm, yeah. So if I now go to my profile and look at my saved posts, I've saved new member guidelines and all of the conversation shows up. So on any one of those, if you clicked it, you'd get the lot. Yes. Right. Because what I'm finding difficult, see the little window that you've just got up now. It's mm -hmm. that, that partly that I'm finding so difficult because it isolates me from everything else. So um, 
So if mm. you clicked on any one of those three that you've got open at the moment, would it automatically open a separate window? Yeah, it will open that pop up that comes from the right side. Right. Um, and then all of that content will be there. Right. And you can, if you if you type in, you're you're adding to the conversation there. Yeah, and it still does this thing of hiding most of the posts. You have to click if you want to see all comments and things like that, don't you? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not seeing so it, on yours. It, yeah, uh, on yours, I'm just seeing the heart. But usually there's a little thing that also you can click on that says all comments, and that will reveal a whole lot, lot more stuff. Ah, I haven't used that, so I don't don't really know. Right. The heart is one thing because the hearts are just for cheers, but all comments are what people actually say uh, that are often hidden. So suddenly you realize there's a whole lot more that people have written. Oh, I see. Yeah. So sometimes yeah, there if there's a lot of if there's a lot of comments and it, it'll right. take a while. Like that oh, one's got two underneath clicked. Yeah, yeah. right. And they get um, hidden, don't they? There's no way of unhiding the lock without clicking that, is there? Yeah, so the only thing you can do is click on the previous comments to have those be yes. revealed. Or on the all comments, I think. Previous it's... reply. And yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know where all comments is. Oh, well, I might have misremembered because I can't have okay. it open at the same time. Yeah. That little um, thing that looks like a question bubble, that one, next door to the heart. Oh yes, so that's um, where you can can just reply to a specific comment. So um, part of what you'll see is that these are kind of you know uh, are they nested? They're threaded nested conversations. So and when you hit reply on something that's a comment from another individual, it will default to including their name so that they know that you've replied specifically to something that they did. Yeah, and it puts it in the right place, doesn't it? Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, you can add something new at the very bottom that will start kind of a new sub thread within this greater conversation. Yeah, just to drive you crazy. Yeah. It's very complex, uh, and it is definitely not a perfect tool yet. Well, it's so, better than not having it because exactly groups, groups that really get into it need all these capabilities and don't have them. And even if they're little clutches, yeah. having them is very helpful. Yeah. Um, so... And Harry, you had some questions then about specifically with the uh, with the book groups, book club. with the book book yep. co book club and book conversations. So one yes. of the complexities that we have is that book club is still listed here. That's um, right, and that's the original oh look see this one has highlighted hashtags which is something that a lot of us what i'm calling the old book club. so this old book club um and i'm curious i want to see what the highlighted hashtags are ah and then the hashtags in this one are actually all of those different um book options so yes. I can so go into the overstory <laughs> and it's saying there's nothing found. Um, but then we've created this collection called Book Conversations. Uh, see over here on the on the far left. Mm -hmm. And within Book Conversations, if I just click on that, I will see the whole set of conversation spaces that we've created for all of the different books. Is that separate from the bit underneath the sacred depths of nature and the how to? No, so these are ones that um, I've subscribed to with this, the, the ones that you're seeing on the left over here are, are 
it's going to prioritize it's going to put at the top the ones that i've already subscribed to but if you click see more then you're going to go to this page with the list of all of them so they are all related to books so these are yeah so each one of these is a different book so that whole um, section on the left is is um is to do with books that whole one, two, three. So, yeah. So if you go, you know, book conversations, it might be a closed group or closed in the sense of um, compressed. So you're not seeing the listing. If you click on the word book that, conversations. Hmm? The things just under that that are listed, are they to do with books as well? Nobody so, yeah. So if you them. click on the down arrow, then it's going to show you uh book groups that you've subscribed to i see they're all book groups okay i got you now yeah same same kind of thing is going on with the eco spirituality groups you might see it just as the list of eco spirituality groups if you click on this arrow on the left of mm. that list it will show you the spaces that you're subscribed to within eco spirituality groups but if you click on see more or click on the words eco spirituality groups, then you will see the whole list of those groups that have been set up. And so then the then the question becomes, well, how do I set up a new one? The short answer is you need to contact one of the moderators or hosts to set it up for you, because as just a member, you do not. Um, by default, have permission to set up your own spaces. But uh, Jeremy is stunningly generous with this space. And so getting into conversation with him or with one of the other moderators, we will either help set it up for you or make you a moderator so you can set it up yourself. Um, so I have set up a couple of uh, book conversations for people who've requested to add in another book. And right now you can see um, there are only a few that have active members. There are lots of these that are how just- do you, How do you tell whether it has active members or not? Uh, so, for instance, braiding sweetgrass four members. It's yeah, listed. Not, maybe it's so small. Title, and then the oh, the little tagline here can't. is by, and then right under it, it, it says how many members there it's are. It's so small and so pale here. I can't read it, but I ah I, I okay okay yeah thank you. Um, and it will show you, you know the last person to post in there posted a week ago so it's not super active but it's non-zero got it um now these are in order based on the order that they were created so um oh and so i i have a feeling that sacred depths of nature is another one of those places where then the host clicked on that thing that made everybody a subscriber to it because this has 2.6 thousand members and um given that the second edition isn't quite out yet i'm really doubting that all 2.6 thousand are people who've read the book and are eager to discuss them um there's no way of correcting that there is no way of correcting that people have to unsubscribe themselves from the space if they don't want to talk about that particular one um there's yeah <laughs> uh okay other questions about the book groups then yes um supposing i um I'm just not uh, not interested in engaging around the books thing at all. Can is there a way I can kind of hide that from hide anything from my left hand list? Because uh, uh, um, 
I have a lot of difficulty with visual clutter and 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 working out on a you know on a screen and and it's just all the extraneous things are partly what makes it difficult for me to to hone in to what I do want to hone in. So can okay. maybe corn kind of is there a sort of hide button or anything? Yes. Any of these? Yes. So with these collections, mm. there's this little arrow on the left yeah. down means that it's going to display a list if you click on the arrow where it's down it'll turn it up and point to the right and that hides most of that content so all the books so you can do that with all the book groups then disappeared other than the, the master list as it were the main list saying book right I see. Right. You can even do that with these general topical groups. And if you wanted, you could do it with home, although these are sort of the primary places mm -hmm. that you probably want to be. But again, you can get to you can get to most of what you want if you want to just be in the all topics area by clicking on feed all topics. I see. Or so discovery, really which will give you a different view of lots of the things. And yeah, so those four that. are always going to be at the top. Okay. Uh, but then, then one, if you want access to any of these, you click the drop down. And if you want to hide that again, you just click it again and it goes away. Oh, thank you. That'll make it simpler. And then there's one other thing. See on the right hand side of your screen at the moment, it's got the two annoying arrows and the thing that says 10%. On the oh, right, hand. yes, can we get rid of that because it's driving me crazy? And I know, and then if you click on it, it starts saying, Welcome, you've only filled in this, and you've only filled in this, and it's right. usually a real distraction. So, even when it's shut down, it's still there. I'm not sure because even yours was saying 10% just then. Yes, it was. Ah, so what I was able to do just then I, um, was I just clicked off as if I had done all of those tasks yep. and it seems to have gone away. I'll have a go at that. You've made my day. I think there's a life lesson in there, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if only it were that easy to manage all the to-do lists everywhere. <laughs> oh, snap, I missed it. I'm waiting for the big reveal, and I just missed that. You clicked off of that you done what? Yeah, so so there's that, that little tab over here, and it'll have a percent, like you've no, only you completed a certain percent. Again. I can't get it back now that I, I've, <laughs> I've done it and it's gone. Um, here, I can, I, this one I can show you on my, on my real account. Give me a moment and I'll share oh, screen on my other sorry, account. Sorry, I'm, I'm sort of filtering, you know? Yeah, I get you. Okay. Not perfect. Um, okay, so here I've got it at 20% and I'm not going to check these off. Um, because, yeah, you know, I found my way around and didn't care. Um, oh, but 20%. I know I've read this. So if you just go through, and I know I've read this, and I know I've responded to that, and I know I've done oh. that, and I've done those. Jesus, like a job I don't know if you. I've read that. Um, I'm so bad if you ever want it back again. <laughs> yes, so I'm, I'm going to leave it as I've only, only done 80%. But if you get through to 100%, that little tab goes away. No. So once you check off the last couple, you know, just go ahead and make check marks in all of those if you feel like you've, you've got enough and you don't need to explore them. Um, and then that little tab on the right hand side will just go away and leave you alone. Wow, it's the gamification. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get back to the content there wow. under under home the welcome space has the same content as that checklist yikes that could be a good or a bad thing all of that yeah but i know you're working here more than most of us so thank you 
please and thank you. All right. Oh, Michelle, I'm sorry, I do have another question. Oh, every that's okay. I, every time I log in, I have to put in my email address, put in my password, and then allow cookies and so on, because I log uh -huh. out each time I log in and log out. My question is, <clears throat> my, my email address happens to be long, but it I but I've got a feeling it offers the option of an email address or some kind of ID. I went into my profile to try to see, could I change it to simply a, um, an ID, which would be much easier than boringly putting in my email every time just to log in? Ooh, I don't know anything about that. Would you be able um, to look into that another time and let me know? I, yeah, I can, I can try. Um, Sorry to lean on your goodwill. <sighs> So that probably is going to be in personal settings. Yeah, yeah, I tried, but it didn't offer me. A and it's probably going to be in account. Update email and password yeah, is your that. option. Yeah. Um, so you could, if you have a, a shorter email that you could use. Uh, to, to be perfectly honest, I just never log out. Yeah, I have to. It's all part of how I do things. So. Yeah. You see, if I turn um, the computer down, it would log me out anyway. So. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm able to shut my browser down, turn the computer off, and when I come back in and go back into my Chrome browser and type in Deep, Transfer, Deep Transformation Network, it just automatically uh, logs me in on that account. Uh, mine is... I, Mine isn't set up that way. I don't think I could. Okay, it was only, you know, yeah. just, you know, do I have to put the email address in every blooming time? Especially now yeah. I was late for the Zoom and I had to click in onto the site and so on. It's a lot of steps. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that one. Um, that might be a thing that you can look up on Mighty Network's help site. Oh, okay. uh, if there's a way to to create a shorter ID, but it didn't look like it. It looked like you had to use your email address. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you so much for all your time and attention yeah. to it all. I really appreciate it. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad I can help out. I just you know, the, to me these the tools and the the capabilities that we have. What what Nancy was saying is so exciting. How much we are able to do with this, and even though it's not a perfect setup, it's a really good setup. And the fact that Jeremy's just saying, "Come on in, everybody. Let's create a space where we can do." this kind of deep thinking and um, connecting uh, with all of these tools is just, it's wonderful to be able to do this in this kind of online community um, and have the freedom to, to work around with this. So very glad you all are here and interested. Um, you know, you you can message me and I'll try to help you the best I can. Uh, but again, some of what you might need to do is just go to look up Mighty Networks online and go to their help space. Uh, oh, and it looks like people are logging out here yeah, but i'm gonna um, jump off but thank you everybody yeah. i'm so glad you were all here because that made this happen so thank you thanks so much michelle yeah okay. I'm, I'm glad it worked out it was wonderful to talk is, with you all your sound is not coming through kathy oh i'm sorry okay, no, there, you go. there you go so great thank you kathy take care bye thank you good to see you nancy Bye. Bye. -bye. Well, now it's just the two of us. Oh, and now it's just the two of us. Let me stop recording. Okay.